repeated or chronic sickness, especially if it's hereditary. You all have heard how, uh, I think Pastor and I was speaking with someone uh, who had cancer, and they were sharing with us that not only did they have cancer, but their sister, two of their sisters had cancer, then their mom and their mom's sister. So in my understanding, I would see a curse. I mean, I know the average person who doesn't affiliate with God would think, you know, that's just, you know, hereditary. But yeah, but once you tie it in with the spiritual side of things, because last week, what did we understand? What did we come to the knowledge of and, and agreement here in our study? That there's an invisible world and a visible. There's a, there's a natural and a, and a supernatural. So um, it's not just about what we see. When we go to the physician, why is it that they always ask us about have we experienced these things, or is there anyone close to us? They don't ask us necessarily about our second cousin once removed on our great grand. They don't ask us that, but they want to know about our parents and our grandparents, our aunts and our uncles. But, you know, even like with me, I can take myself with my family, all of my uncles and aunts, high blood pressure, medicine, all of them, every last one of them. Um, then some of my cousins even, not a great many of us, but some of us, you know, if we didn't want to rectify the weight problem and, and our eating regimen, but, you know, that's still an attack to me. I can see where, why that is, but I didn't have to accept the curse. We don't have to accept curses, even if they're not uh, directly due to something that we've done. So you all can identify with that, I'm, I'm certain, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You said repeated and hereditary? Repeated or chronic sickness. Repeated or chronic. It can either be a repeated sickness or it can be chronic. Chronic means that it doesn't end. 